My maternal grandfather um, and grandmother were from Kharpert and Marash, and my paternal grandfather and grandmother were from Urfa and Aintep. Uh, both my grandfathers were the ones who were survivors. My grandmother's uh, fathers or mothers were, were the ones who survived. My grandmothers were born uh, in Lebanon and uh, Syria. Um, my maternal grandfather was from Kharpert. His name was uh, Krikor Kalajian, and he ended up becoming the, uh, the only sole survivor of his complete family. At a very young age, he uh, survived the death marches. He was separate from his family members, as was common during the deportations, um, in order to split families up. Um, and he witnessed the death of, of certain family members uh, and was able to survive um, and made his way to orphanages that were established in the outskirts of the empire by uh, Near East Relief. And uh, he spent the rest of his uh, childhood in various orphanages uh, ranging from uh, Syria to um, Greece. And in Greece he was taught to work the land and uh, up until the age of about 18 he uh, worked as a farmer uh, with, with a farmer, a uh, local farmer there. And afterwards, uh, after becoming 18, he moved uh, and traveled back to uh, Lebanon, into the Middle East, where he met my uh, grandmother. My grandmother's father was uh, a survivor. Uh, she, he, he was uh, from Marash, um, and he was conscripted along with the many other males, Armenian males in, in, in that region. Uh, and um, he, after learning that the Armenian males were being separated only to be used in labor battalions and then executed, he, uh, was, uh, he managed to defend himself from a, a Turkish soldier um, and uh, escaped and traveled uh, by foot in uh, harsh terrain, eating grass and various different things that you could find to make his way uh, to safety. Uh, he made his way to Lebanon, uh, where he established himself um, and started a new life. My paternal grandfather was from Urfa. His name was Garabet Sarkisian. He, uh, he witnessed the death of his um, uncle. His uncle was the first to be killed from their family in the early stages of the genocide. Um, Turkish officials in that region uh, had... Uh, were taking advantage of uh, their power and demanding many uh, extra payments and gold from especially wealthy families. And uh, my uh, grandfather's family was quite wealthy and they were jewelers. And uh, Turkish officials would often visit his uncle and demand payments and demand uh, gold. On one occasion he could not provide uh, the same amount that he usually used to give uh, and uh, his life was threatened and eventually they came uh, and in order to make an example of him uh, tied him behind a, a horse carriage and dragged him publicly uh, dragged him to death and uh, had forced the family to, to actually watch this uh, along with many of the villagers who witnessed it. Uh, afterwards came the uh, deportation orders of the uh, Armenian population living in Urfa uh, and many of the uh, Armenians took to the uh, mountains to defend themselves from the deportation uh, orders, who uh, most of them knew, hearing from various other deportees from other regions, that that just meant death. Um, and that the, the final resting place for most of the Armenians was going to be the Syrian desert, where, uh, which became the concentration camps for Armenians. My grand grandfather did uh, live through the self-defense of Urfa. Um, he and his family participated and witnessed as well uh, how uh, Armenians used every means to defend themselves from the uh, Turkish military. Um, but eventually uh, they succumbed and they were deported and massacres also took place in, that er in those areas. Um, my grandfather was separated along with his sister from their mother and their baby sister. And um, before being separated, they witnessed the death of 
their baby and newborn sister Rose, who uh, did not uh, live through the deportations uh, because of lack of nutrition uh, and uh, the exhaustion and heat. The, um, my, my grandfather and, and his sister, his older sister, ending up surviving and ended up in, a, in an orphanage. And later on, uh, his mother went from different orphanage to orphanages to find and reclaim her children. And luckily enough, uh, she was able to find them alive in one of the orphanages. Um, and they were, be, they were able to reunite with each other and settled in Aleppo, Syria. Our, our, our family name, it's interesting that um, uh, because of the fact that one of the first individuals who, who died uh, in the family, his name was Sarkis, um, the, uh, our family name changed from uh, Kuyumjan to, to Sarkisian in honor of our, my great uncle, uh, who was one of the first to be killed in Ufa.